Ever since we purchased this pool almost 20 years ago, Michelle's been asking me, how do you step-by-step step open up this pool to get it ready for spring? Well, today we're finally gonna find out. That's great, let's get started. All right, first things first, what do we need um, to have ready so we can get started on the pool? All right, so channel lock. Okay. Screwdriver. <laughs> I want to use a slant. You may be able to use a Phillips. We need the plug for the pool pump. Okay. And we need the uh, plug for the pool filter. Hmm. We seem to go through a pressure gauge every year. We'll really? Put one of those in. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to have four of these clamps for the two hoses, uh, the inlet and the outlet hose on okay. the pool. And then I always put in the skimmer basket. That's a good idea. So we got the tools ready, and then um, what else do we need? The outlet holes for the pool. Are they the same hose? They're the same. Oh. Wait. This one's six foot. Usually you can get six foot and three foot. Okay. That must be six. Well, probably over six because you're six. Wait, I guess you can get eight foot. <laughs> this is eight foot. All right. Most of the stores will have three or six. But are they the same? So they're interchangeable, like the. Yeah, yeah those things are the same size yeah I forget, okay but i think there's like one and a quarter and one and a half and i forget what these are okay but those are the same one and a half or one and a quarter whatever they are yeah so i can't mix it up i guess is my question i don't want to mix it up you can't mix it up okay and uh usually let's see which distance is longer i guess we'll use the longer one okay we we'll use the longer one with the inlet okay shorter one from the uh, pool outlet so okay open up the All right. we'll get the basket in it we're not going to fill the pool up with water until um, we get the hoses on now usually the pool water level is lower but Michelle a week or two ago spent the day putting some water in the pool <laughs> so once we get it all hooked up we only got to go up just like three inches great so we'll get this back on you're welcome <laughs> yep and, okay, uh, so I get the hoses out, I get all the tools out, all right. Screwdriver and the clamp. Okay. I think they might call this a T-bolt clamp, I can't remember. All right. The pool stores will just call it a pool clamp. Sounds good. Actually, I've got a set of clamps already on it. Oh, good. So, here, we'll start with the inlet. Okay. So, we've got extra clamps, so here's one already on here. Oop. And it's kind of loose and we store these hoses in the shed i don't know if that's and then i just actually i need to loosen this one up a little bit i think i tightened it so it wouldn't fall off the hose during storage okay counterclockwise we loosen it up and now Ooh. when we get our new liner they're going to fix all this that's okay. a hole right there almost Ooh, i hope it doesn't like burst when you're putting it on oh my goodness Boy, that makes me nervous. Yeah, this all needs this all needs to be replaced, guys. Yeah. I don't know if that's even gonna hold, but let's try it. Yeah, let's see if the anchor holds. Yeah. <laughs> We're good enough. Okay. We only need it for a month until the uh, the pool guy comes out to replace it. Yeah, th everything will get replaced. Okay, good. And you want these? You do want these tight. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure coming through. I remember that. There we go. All right. So that's yeah, the that first is one. Bad. Kind of curious. Where does that? Oh, oh, I see it. Right there. Okay. Boy, that's bad. All right. So it comes through that hose and that hose. This hose is going to go over here in the filter. Okay. And you got to be careful. Those will slice you. I'm going to get a better clamp. You don't want all that there. You gotta be real careful. Okay. So we just kind of push and turn. Okay. That's good. So it's snug? Yeah. Okay. It's snug as a bug. Okay. In a rug. So I'm just kind of <laughs> loosening it up a little bit, babe, so that it's kind of. Oh, so you position it where you Yeah, need. like okay. here's, you know, I'm gonna kind of put it a little bit off from the edge. I don't know. Okay. Leave a comment below if there's a better way to do this, but this is what I've been doing for 20 years. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Suffice it to say. Here we go. Okay. Right now we're going to get the uh, outlet. 
the outlet hose? Yep. Okay. Loosening it up. Oh. You got that, babe? Yeah, I didn't know that's where you were putting it. So it goes under the skimmer. Got yeah. it? Yep, that's why we can't finish filling up the pool until we get these hoses on. Right, that makes sense. I don't know if I'd be strong enough to do that. Do you think I can? You, yeah, you can do it. All right. You have to get them tight. Maybe next year I'll do that. <laughs> I had one of these start to wear, okay. and I just shoved it up higher, and I used two clamps. Oh. Because I had a little water coming through. Okay. And it worked good. Okay. The other end goes on the pump. That seems like a yeah. much looser fit. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm starting to think these hoses are contracted because they were cold. Because we have, whoop, wrong way. We have temperature fluctuations between like 75 and 30. Well, we're pretty much above freezing now. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. But here, what is it, May 2nd? May 2nd, yes. Normally, we do this in the middle of April. Yeah. It's 40 degrees today. You wouldn't know it by the beautiful sunshine, but yeah. So that just twists on. Yeah. Why is that there? What does it do? It drains your pump like in the wintertime. A lot of people will take these inside. Oh. We're in Wisconsin, so we get some really bad winters. But by taking this inside every year, the hassle, it's not worth it. It doesn't make those pumps last any longer. Really? Yeah. And other people have different opinions. So you just get it tight, you know, okay. snug, and then a little, you know, want to break it. It's plastic. Okay. So that's good. This goes on the filter. There's dirt here. Okay. Probably should have washed that off. I don't think it's going to matter. There's so many threads on this, but basically you just thread it on. And you got to make sure, by the way, when you start these, you thread them evenly. What some people will do is they'll thread them left a little bit and then to the right. Oh, so it seats on there straight. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You don't want Hand it tight. crooked. Now I'll okay. get the channel lock and I'll get it a little bit tighter. It'll leak. Oh. So we'll come over here. We don't want to break this. It's all plastic. Okay. And we'll just give it a little, a little, a little help. Not too much. Is on the wave. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. That's good. Okay. So two plugs, two hoses. Yep, that doesn't seem your, too hard. Well, above you, babe, is a pressure gauge. Oh, that's you right. Come up here and get a clip. Yeah, let me get that. I can guarantee it's probably not working. Okay. And we do cover this with a tarp in the winter time. Just remove it, or? Yeah, usually you can grab it, but when it gets really bad, it'll break in your hand. Oh. It just threads. Mm -hmm. See, right. here's where the, is it threading from? Here's the new one. You can see it's threaded. Okay. But <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah you gotta be careful. Some years this can get bad enough that it just, it'll break. Will it ever like go? Psh, you know, because of all the pressure. Well, if you don't have this like in, like a pressure cooker, and you turn the pool pump on, like I've done oh. once before, water will <laughs> shoot out with a lot of force. Yeah. And then the new one, okay. Yep. How much are those gauges? Well, wait, let me start it counterclock, counterclockwise a little. There we go. Okay. And uh, usually I buy this on Amazon. We'll have an Amazon links below to our store. But I went to uh, Bachman Pool and Spa. Does that have to be Cheap. like super tight or? Yeah. But tight. Yeah, okay. about probably like that or it leaks. Maybe at a slight sand. We'll know when we turn it on. We'll check okay. for leaks. Got it. But uh, there we go. All right, two po two ho two hoses, two plugs, and one pressure gauge. That's it. And one husband who's very handy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. So is that it? Oh, we got to fill up the pool still, yeah, we're right? Yeah, put water in the pool. Little A.W. was over here throwing things in the pool. We just <laughs> Grandson. Let him. But yeah, we'll get the water level up to about here. We get the water hose. I like to turn the water on before I put it in the pool. And I just put it in the pool at the side. I don't want to like disturb all the leaves. So after we fill the pool up with water, we're going to put some of our super shock in there. And we're going to use a liquid shock. We're not going to use granules because remember, this is Wisconsin. This water is cold. 
so it's harder to get those granules into solution. So you want to use a liquid shock, certainly if you're in the north or the Midwest. The other thing, babe, is when you put your hose in, and I learned mm -hmm. this from one of our viewers, we took the deck down, we used to have a pool deck, and I would take the hose and put it on the pool deck so that it's going like this into the pool rather than like this because you can get some um, we have a special vacuum component on our spigot so we shouldn't get any you know backwash oh okay or, uh, you know coming oh, back like a in. vacuum got yeah, it that, thank you and so like siphoning gas yeah we're probably not going to get <laughs> we're probably not going to get that but it's a good tip if you have a deck or somewhere where you can just hang this above okay so you're not going to worry about that but i That's think we'll be idea. okay um, yeah, we moved our deck because we're going to have a new liner put in. By the way, subscribe yeah. if you haven't yet because we're going to have, hopefully, when we get this liner installed, our installer is going to let us video him. We'll I have sure to hope so. Him. But we want to get that. We want to get a video on changing the sand. I promised that last year and we never got that one. We got two videos. They're awesome videos. We got the short and the long version. I'll put those here on how to clear up a green pool. You're going to want to watch those. Just there's hundreds of comments. People, you know, they get a lot of good information and they leave information for us and for our viewers so right. if you nice. want information about a pool watch those videos and look through the comments that's a great place to, to learn something so okay. please consider subscribing if you haven't I have more questions though. Oh. <laughs> okay so just to recap um, so this was like super easy though this was I thought it was more drawn out how long do hoses last well, it depends on where you live, the climate, how much sunlight's hitting them. Oh, sure. In the winter, of course, you want to bring them into a shed or something like we do here. Mm -hmm. But I would say you're better off changing them. Like in the Midwest here, I change mine every three years. Oh. Um, it's better to, to to do the maintenance route. Don't wait till it breaks. You could be out of town or something. One time we <laughs> sprung a leak, and this one wasn't a huge leak, but there's a lot of pressure. So it was a small little leak on the hose, and it shoots out like five, six feet. That's right. So... Um, yeah preventative maintenance that's the key so once the pool is filled up then what do you do so now we're just waiting on the pool to fill up those what four or five inches or whatever okay and then what am i supposed to do yeah yeah so i'll turn the pool pump on i'll make sure everything is working and circulating first okay um if there's a lot of leaves floating because we don't cover our pool but that's for another video <laughs> you know, but so some years we get more leaves than others but i'll get the leaves off the, the top i don't touch the leaves any of the debris on the bottom because i want it all to settle so the pool oh. clears so what okay. i do oh yeah the water clears got it i'll put in four of these sometimes five or six if it's really bad okay. and again like i said we're going to use a liquid chlorine okay and this is real concentrated and i know it works because people are buying this from our amazon store well, I walk around the pool okay and I, I put those in and then I, I wait a day okay and it'll clear up that first day usually pretty good and so then I wait at least a day and then what I'll do is I'll put in some clarifier now clarifier read the directions do you have a clarifier here that you I, can show me I do poly sheen blue oh okay oh sure it says water clarifier concentrated got it yep Read the directions. Putting too much of this in will actually make it worse. How so will I make put it this worse? in. Well, what this does is it takes the little tiny little particles that are in your pool, mm -hmm. and it makes them coalesce together. They they, they combine together, so they're larger particles. That yeah. way, it's easier for them to filter out. Okay, that makes okay. sense. So shock first, and then how long do you wait after shock? Well, after that, well, I do this the next day, the clarifier. Okay. And All then right. after the clarifier, a day or two later, I'll kind of look at things. Mm -hmm. Then I'll put in some algicide. And algicide is? Oh, can we go back to the clarifier? Yeah. How much of that do you put in for our pool? Well, we have 18,500 gallons. That's One nice. fluid ounce per 5,000 gallons of pool water. Okay. So I'm going to use like just over three ounces. I'll have to do the math, maybe three and a quarter, three and a half. Got but... it. Okay. So then a couple days after that, then you put in algicide? I'll put in some algicide. How much of that do you put in? Um, I don't think I could read that even with my glasses. <laughs> I have to take a picture and blow it up. You follow okay. the directions because yours may be different than mine. Oh, good point. Okay. But uh, there's different types of algicides. There's different color algae. So... Um, the thing okay. about algae, well, number one, we shock the pool like crazy. So that's hopefully going to kill that algae. But you're not going to get rid of everything. 
So algae will die easier when it's not attached to something and it's free floating. So on that third or fourth day when I put in this algae side, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna let that circulate and it's probably not gonna kill too much algae. The, the chlorine's already done that. But um, algae is easier to kill when it's dislodged, when it's not sticking on the bottom of the pool or the sides. Okay. So what we're gonna do, like I said, um, we want everything to float to the bottom, the pool to clear, which we have now. And then we'll go in and we'll start vacuuming the bottom. And that's gonna dislodge everything and that's gonna um, come in contact with this. Um, usually we do the pool walls when we come in there the first day and swim. We just wipe them down. Okay. So, yeah, it's a great system. Um, I mean, you can you can be like a, um, you know, you can a novice some, like me. Some people they're 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 putting this that and the third everything every chemical they want that pool perfect. They're they're doing it by the book, and you can do that. That works. But I found it's a lot of money. And it doesn't do a whole lot better job than just keeping it simple. Mm -hmm. But read the comments. You see what other people think. You do what you you do. You what works <laughs> for you. You know you could tweak. You know watch a lot of videos and, and tweak things to work for you. Right. You okay. Know? All right. So it's not one size fits all. All right. I have just a couple of quick questions. So sure. Um, what's the earliest that we can start this on the pool? You know, open the pool in the spring. Sure. For us, anyhow, in Wisconsin. Yeah, well, we don't want, you know, consistent temperatures below freezing. You know, um, if, it, if it gets down to 32, it's freezing, right? If it gets down to, you know, 29, 30, here and there, we're fine. A hack is just to take a tarp, cover the pool filter and the pump, and just that, you know, thawed out ground. The ground's gotta be thawed out. You know, a frost light can go four feet down and, and that'll keep that from freezing. I mean, there's enough water there once you get everything kind of moving it's harder for that to freeze. But again, when do we open the pool to begin Usually with? Usually the middle of April. Okay. But it All depends right. on the weather. It can be the, you don't want to wait too long because we don't like our pool to get green like this. Right. You know, we let it go because we know we're getting a new pool liner installed. And now our installer said, I want you to clean it up a little bit. <laughs> you know, I want it looking clear when I, and he, we're going to pay him to drain it yeah. rather than doing it ourselves. So it's done the way he wants it. Yeah, I didn't think so, it would be a big deal. I, For whatever reason, I was thinking that it would be done earlier this spring. But he said it needs to be 70s consistently. Is that right for the new pool liner? Yes, okay. because they got to be able to stretch, you know, to have it, you know, to get the wrinkles out. So it's okay. got to be warm enough so it's pliable. Got it. All right. So usually it's the end of May, beginning of June on a good year, a bad year. It could be uh, middle of June. Okay, for the pool liner. All right, but yes. normally, so like next year after we get the new pool liner on now, we can open this in April. Yeah, maybe the first week, maybe the second, third week. The earlier you open it up, the more you got to use chemicals and True. use power to run the pool because we can't swim until Memorial Day weekend. We don't have a heater. Okay. So, right. um, but it's just depends on your location, you know, really. Okay, so then so. the other thing is, um, I suppose you'll put well once we get the once we get the deck built. So let's say we had the deck right now. When would we put the pool the uh, pool ladder on? When does that normally go on? Yeah, usually I don't put that in until maybe a week or two before we swim. Be oh, okay. Well, Why? You, you got to vacuum around it. Oh, you know, okay. And it, so you it's know, easier it's to not maintenance. Not use you know the feet on there, keep anything off it. Got it. Know? Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. I think I can yeah. do this. Yeah, Thank I guess you. the other thing I should mention, babe, is I'll put a puck or two in there. I always, always keep a, a puck. puck or two in the skimmer basket. Yeah. A chlorine Maybe puck? It's a chlorine puck. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Sounds good. Make sure no mice ate this. this time I can't find the seal is it in there I don't have my glasses on do you see the seal in there babe oh it's in there okay. I 
think it's starting to break. We'll do filter. A little bit of water leaking here. That's going to get repaired. Okay. Right oh, here. Look at that. What about the top one? Good? Good luck. I think there's a little bit coming out. It's not bad though. We have to prime it. Watch out for that. I don't understand why that happens like that. Yeah, it'll probably work now. Video, oh. Ready? Mm -hmm. I just moved the holes up. Oh. Moved the holes up just to give it all the just needs a little bit of help. Of course it's leaking here. There we go. That looks better. Yeah. We'll give it about well, two, three minutes. Yeah, lots of pressure. We're good. Ooh, another duck flew in. Let me reframe that. Let me reframe that. Do you think if you watch this video, you would be able to hook this up next year? I think I would be able to do that. Yeah. Yep. I think I'll be able to open the pool. This was the easy part. The chemicals, I'm still a little leery on. Yeah. But um, I think if I help you with that this year, I think I'd be able to do that. Not that I will, but but I can. <laughs> yeah. So, do you think you could vacuum the pool? Well? Um, I'll leave that up to you. I'll help you though. I don't, okay. I don't like to do that. I'm teasing. Um, I don't mind doing it. Um, it's a labor of love. <laughs> it's a labor of love. Well, thanks for watching our video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Give us a like and share our video. And stay tuned for more for everything we're doing with our home, our RV, our pool, and with our new recently purchased land. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.